Hello, hello. So I'm jumping on. I'm laughing because of my little fluff ball. My little fluff, fluffy fluff. Anyways, <laughs> look at it when I'm... <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, I love it. I love that we can joke and have fun in life. So anyways, I'm jumping on because I'm so tired of all this self-love talk that is so directly related to self-destruction and self-destructive habits. And I've shared this message before and I'm going to share it again and I'm going to continue to share it until until it's honestly not even a problem and I'm not sure that it, if it will be but I'm here to awaken the people who are putting self-love up as a front for their self-destruction. Here's a very like clear example that always sets me off. <laughs> the body positive movement. I freaking I love it and I hate it all at the same time because being body positive is so important in every aspect of your fitness journey. Don't get me wrong or any aspect of any journey, self-love included. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> Loving your body as it is right now is important. However, self-love is not just a matter of acceptance. Self-love is a matter of action, not just affirmations. And you can love your body all you want, but until you actually love your body and express that love for your body, then it means nothing. It means nothing. So the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I see it all the time. And there have been lots of things happening in the media that also have kind of really bothered me. And oh man, I wish I had, there's so much I could just bring up. But anyways, something that I really want you to get from this is just the fact is that saying that you love yourself is so different than actually loving yourself. Because actually loving yourself is creating positive change in your life. Actually loving yourself is eating foods that feel good for you. Actually loving yourself is trusting that you know what's best for you and you know how to make those decisions. Actually loving yourself is recognizing that there's some sort of issue that's causing you to make decisions that don't actually serve you. Actually loving yourself comes from taking care of your body, going to the gym, fueling yourself with foods that feel amazing, and working on your well-being and your confidence and your mindset and your behaviors and, and everything that is necessary to truly grow. Self-love is not just looking in the mirror and going, this is, this is me, I love myself. Like, because deep down inside, there's still something that's broken if you're still making destructive choices. Binge eating, snacking on all the unhealthy foods, always eating poorly, never going to the gym or outdoors or however it is you choose to get active. Or uh, showing up in a way that doesn't make sense in the world, that's not actually you. None of this is a sign of self-love, alright? And we know this. Deep down inside, you know this. So putting up that self-love po body positive front is BS. And I'm calling you on it. If this is you, if you're thinking, if you feel maybe a little bit like your heart's racing right now, then this is good. <laughs> this is good for you. Because we should preach body positivity with a heaping scoop of self-love that actually comes from action. Because without action, there is no reaction. And without action, we cannot get results. And we need results. And the inner work is part of that action. Setting affirmations, part of that action. Taking the opportunity to love yourself in all forms is part of that action. However, loving yourself, I will repeat this again, comes from actually expressing love to yourself. Saying you love yourself and then putting toxins into your body, around your body, on your body, that's not real self-love. Uh, saying you love yourself and then allowing yourself to feel lazy all day and not go after the things you want to go after and just be like, I'm, I'm fat or I'm super skinny and this and that. Like, I don't get it. Like, if you are creating unhealthy eating patterns, unhealthy exercise patterns in your life, that's not real self-love. 
Mm-mm. And I'm tired of self-love being used as a mask for self-destructive patterns. Real self-love goes so much deeper than that. Real self-love is deeper than surface level. And you are deeper than surface level. And remember, you are a soul. Love your soul, but love your soul in a way where you take action for it. And you stand up for it. And you give your body the vehicle for your soul what it needs to truly live in an empowered, free, and healthy way. Because saying you love your body for a body positive movement, it's so contradictive. Because if you are not defined by your body, then you would recognize that you're more than that. You'd recognize that you're a soul. But you'd also recognize that your body plays an important role in your life. And that it's important to give your body the proper foods. It's important to take yourself to the gym or to the park or get active in some way. It's important to be aware of how you feel, how you actually feel. And it's important to recognize that it's okay to want to change. It's okay to not be satisfied where you are. This is, these are okay emotions. You're, you're allowed to have these emotions. But saying you love yourself because the emotions you have are not something you're willing to address. Saying you love yourself because you're not willing to go further. Saying you love yourself because it's the easy way out. I'm done with it. It's not going to cut it. And you know that. I don't even need to tell you, but you need to hear it right now. Because if you're someone who talks about how much you love yourself or thinks about how much you love yourself, but you never take action for yourself, then you are lying and you know it. Because... I want you to love every aspect of yourself on all levels, right? And a byproduct to real, true, deep self-love is taking care of your body. It's truly, truly taking care of your body, your mind, and your soul all together as one, recognizing that your soul is the most important part. And when you start truly loving your soul, there is absolutely no question question whether or not you love your body which carries it and you love your mind which influences it there's no question so i'm curious to hear your thoughts i am very passionate about this if you can't tell and this is something that it's necessary for the world to hear because this is about building more than just a body and that is my message However, that doesn't mean we neglect our bodies. So with that being said, I hope you have an amazing day, night, or morning. Wherever you are in the world, just make it awesome.